so now what I have to do is this is the drain line so this brown line right here goes up into the bucket but right now we're putting it in the drain line because we're gonna build this next so what I do is I touch the bottom of the drain line and I have a whole bunch of these already but I'm just doing this as an example I touch the bottom and measure out to the top of this about right to there now I want to push this in we don't want to push these in hard because we have to break these apart every year but we want to make sure they're not uh, leaking so what I want to make sure of is that this is in the hole but not beating on the side and it's sitting flat so it's not not sitting like that so that means that it's in fine and and it's not pushing up on this so if it was pushing up like that we know that this this was too long and if you look and put your finger underneath here it should be just fine and I can still have room so this this drain will be should be just fine we could cut it off just a little bit more just take a little bit more off now you can you can put your finger in here and it's really up there but it's enough in the hole that it's going to drain so the last thing we check is to make sure that both 90s the inside bucket and the outside bucket are pointed down I use an insert and these are hydroponic insert um, I just found that if I had a problem with one of my peppers instead of having to take the bag out and everything I could just pull this thing out and I didn't have to mess with my bucket so it just sits right inside Oops. Gotta make sure that when you use them you got to make sure that you're you're not all the way in otherwise it won't fit it sits just right inside just like that so let's see see how it fits inside the bucket so I'm not using a lot of perlite but it still has the drain and if something happens to this pepper where I accidentally break it or it breaks off the top and I don't get any more peppers or it just quits growing because sometimes that does happen um, I can take I can just pick this right up out and put another pepper right in its place okay so I wanted to show an example of even though that you're only a little bit from the hole I mean not even a fingers within when the water dribbles down you have to make sure it's actually in the hole so you're gonna need to cut a very small piece and set it in there and that just see if I can do this one-handed here just squeeze it in and there you go see how it actually fits in the hole down in the hole just a little bit so it's so it does not have a chance to dribble your formula over the side and you'll have to check um, to make sure once you turn this on make sure nothing is dribbling out and uh, and wasting on the ground because you can drain your reservoir real fast if you have one leak in the system so I'm gonna finish uh, putting up the pipes and I'll be right back Okay, one nice thing about when you do it this way is you guys can actually see how it is actually working inside. So you can see how the water is, the formula is coming up, it's going down here, and it's draining into the um, perlite. And then you can see it draining out the bottom, where's my finger, the water level. Now the water level stays right up to where the pipe is and then it comes down here and all of them are draining out and it drains all the way around and all the way down into my pumps way down at the other end by that pink bucket down by the other end into the ground so the peppers are in um, thank you for watching and subscribing